Hello everyone, good to see you all here. I'm excited, I'm all buckled up, ready to go. And we are in the plane. And we're going to be hopefully enjoying one of the most beautiful views you can. So, we're a little early, but there's so much I can do about that. Um, so the plane's about to go, and this guy over there, it's his birthday today, so the pilot let him sit next to him, which is amazing. Um, and as we're appreciating the Great Barrier Reef, we'll be talking about it a little bit. There might be, some, there might be um, uh, talks in the background, but I'd like to talk a little bit about the, uh, the reef itself. Uh, when that happens, I'll be quiet, but when it doesn't, I'll talk about the reef myself. So nice um so far the signal is good i'm happy about that uh still got another 10 minutes so we're expecting a lot of people today i have almost 800 people but uh we never get the full amounts you know liv isn't here today she couldn't get time off work so it's just me and you that's uh, gonna be a lot of fun and uh i've got the whole um whole seat the whole road of myself, which is great. And here we are. So it's called Daintree um, Flights, Scenic Flights, and they're fantastic. So when you do come to Cairns, come check them out. Here's a nice view, the pilot's over there. We're gonna fit a lot of people in this plane. We're still starting in 10 minutes. Um, they decided to start a little bit earlier, <laughs> so. Um, okay, can you hear me now a little bit better? All good. So we're gonna now start our flight those who arrived earlier who uh, I just want you to all pray that I get the signal <laughs> if not then I'll record it all and then we can watch it all from the comfort of our homes but you're about to experience something unique something not many people get to experience um, something that you in most cases will only see in uh, documentary channels National Geographic as we embark on a journey to witness um, one of the seven natural wonders of the world um, from the top of the plane to view. So we'll be learning. Check out the views over here. We are surrounded by rainforests everywhere. There's so much to enjoy. Let me just show you something very quickly. I'm wearing one of these. Oh, sorry. Um, the pilot joked and said that um, it was a uh, it was a parachute. My heart just went from 60 beats per minute to 220 beats per minute. Uh, but then he said, oh, "Don't worry, it's just a, uh, a flotation device." So, whew. okay, let's switch it back. So, can you guys all hear me well? Uh, so, how many people are with me on the plane? Let's see. So, we have one, two. Four, five, um, and I'm the sixth person. And as I was saying, it's this guy's birthday, so he's enjoying the front row seat, which is amazing. And as we are embarking now on our little flight, we can say goodbye to all the trees and the forests. We're going to head and enjoy a different part of beauty, a different type of beauty. And I'm excited to show this to you. about you guys, but I am stoked, I am thrilled, this is just going to be amazing, thanks for your feet, thanks Jonathan, I really appreciate your tips, alright, let's switch it, plane is departing, Thank you. 
very loud on the flying sign. Yeah. Alright, just give me a second, I'll sort it out. You guys hear me better now? Is it a little bit better? Okay, I just switched microphones. All right, let's do this. How beautiful is Cairns? Good old tropical Queensland. We still got five minutes until we get to the Great Barrier Reef and the noise from the engine, I can't control that. soon we'll be heading to the Great Barrier Reef. Just be a little patient, we haven't begun properly. It's a bit of turbulence. I get very nervous. And very soon, we are going to be flying above the Great Barrier Reef, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you for being here with me today. It's going to be an incredible sight. And for those meeting me for the first time, you can follow my channel just up here. Click on the follow button so you don't miss out. I've got amazing things coming up in the coming months. Tropical Queensland in Australia at its finest. And this would be a good time to play with a zoo feature. You're absolutely welcome, Val. How beautiful. That's right, Diana. <laughs> Thanks, Dala. Oh, amazing, Lindo. I'm so glad to show you this. Let's check out the other side. And Jody, we haven't even begun. There's still so much more to see. 
We haven't even arrived at the race yet. Check out this beautiful island. So beautiful and secluded. I'm not sure how this plane can fit 332 people, but we're expecting 800 today. So um, hopefully we can fit all 800. It'll be for as long as the flight lasts. How beautiful is this? Wow, I'm going our way to the Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> we'll be there very soon. And it's going to be a stunning view for all of you. Thanks for the tips, everyone. Really appreciate it. Yeah, my comrades. We're all in this together. Thanks, Beck. It's so good to know. I have I been here before? But, um, a long time ago in 2008, Suzanne. I don't know specifically how high we are. It's beautiful, isn't it? I uh, would have seen you then, Angie. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Jerry. Hopefully the signal doesn't cut off. Let's pan to the other side. Wow. Let's see if we can spot dolphins. Okay. Our first island. Are you ready? Our first island of the Great Barrier Reef. How beautiful is that? Wow. Imagine living there. There are a few houses there. Wouldn't that be now? Look how beautiful this reef is. Wow. Oh, hey, if you have to ask, then you can't afford it. <laughs> I can't, I can't afford it. Look at the colors. It's a bit of turbulence. Absolutely beautiful. Check the other side. Oh. You can actually see the Great Barrier Reef in space. I'm not sure how far high we are. It's pretty high.
And can you believe that there are 1,620-ish fish around here? And we got to go on a cruise, everyone. So 10% of, sorry, species of fish, not just fish. So 10% of the, um, of the world's known fish species reside in the Great Barrier Reef. I hope so, Jennifer. That would be nice. How beautiful is this? So if you want to book the cruise, feel free to enter my page and follow my channel too so you don't miss out. That's beautiful. Um, in two days, Kathy. And there are about 215 species of birds in the Great Barrier Reef. 133 varieties of sharks and uh, rays. 30 different species of whales and dolphins live here. 14 different species of sea snakes. And species of marine turtle lives here in the Great Barrier Reef. Again, one of the world's natural wonders, seven wonders of the world. In fact, 25% of all known marine species lives or visits the Great Barrier Reef. I will, Lorna, so after my cruise with you guys, I will be going for a snorkel. And over here you have uh, 600, over 600 types of hard and soft corals. And as beautiful as this is, the Great, Great Barrier Reef also contains some of the deadliest animals in the ocean. including the box jellyfish. Oh my God, check this out. Let's zoom in. Look at, look at this tiny island. Thanks, Larry. I don't even think I can buy this one, Stefan. How about we all ship in? Call of Hagel Island. And that was a tiny helicopter, Tina, you're right, on that island. And this reef is so big, as I said, you can actually see it from the top of space. To give you perspective of how big the Great Barrier Reef is, it could fit in 70 million football stadiums. That's how big it is. You can fit 70 million football stadiums in the Great Barrier Reef. We've got some more, some more. I'm sure you've all seen Finding Nemo and the popular star of the show, Nemo, is the clownfish or the anemone fish, one of the most popular fish in the Great Barrier Reef. You can say it takes some amazing photos of them. And that's the reef. How beautiful is it? We'll 
we'll talk about threats to the reef shortly. Let's just enjoy it for a second. And remind us of how beautiful Check the other side. We seem to get better signal on the other side. Some turbulence. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's switch to the other side again. I know, Alison, but there's not much I can do about it right now. Um, hopefully we can um, 
play it a little bit later, but it'll get better. And guys, I hope you're taking postcards because I'd love to see this. I um, I'm not taking photos. <laughs> you're taking the photos for me, so please share them on the Hey Go Voyages group, um, so I can check them out a little bit later. I would have loved to take photos. Would have been nice. Oh, there you go. The signal's better now, and we've got a beautiful coral bed on the other side. Let's check it out. Perfect. Great work to all of you taking postcards. Absolutely amazing. More on the other side. I'm just going to move quickly. We've got another helicopter waiting to depart. How beautiful is this? This is just something else, ladies and gentlemen. The signal will get better soon. But as soon as it gets good, you got to take the postcards so you don't. Now, can you see any wildlife? That's the question. When it gets better, try to spot the wildlife. The stingrays, the sharks. You've got plenty around here. Here's another one down there. I'm having an amazing time. Good to see you all. Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, I love you guys. I still have like nothing at the moment. Uh, so thank you. Uh, for those meeting me for the first time, hi. I'm from Australia. <laughs> if you have, can't tell by the accent. Um, and uh, yeah, feel free to check out, follow my channel. Click on the follow button up here. And so I can show you more. See you guys. Beautiful. Oh, incredible. And just like when we experience the Great Ocean Road, 12 Apostles, the word that comes to mind for me is awe. I'm in awe of how incredible nature is. Susie, I'm in a plane. And you have the wings? And the gentleman on the left is the pilot. And we've got more great battery. Absolutely welcome in Flint. This is something you'll only experience on Hago. And the living corals that live here are about years old. Or they've begun, um, you know, they've begun being formed 20 million years ago. But um, yeah, and it is it is the largest obviously reef. About ten to twenty million years, my late. 
it's interesting because when James Cook, Captain James Cook, arrived here in 1770, he crashed on the Great Barrier Reef. Crashed on one of the corals because they can be very sharp, razor sharp. And he had to detour and stop the shores of not far from Cairns. And they had to rebuild their boat. It took them almost a month to fix everything. And they went back, headed back to England. Now, Kathy's asking there are whales. I don't see any whales, but if you see them, feel free to point them out. I can't see the bleaching, Jennifer, but that's a very important thing that we should talk about. Threats to the Great Barrier Reef. And um, one of the biggest threats is obviously uh, climate change. Uh, and, um, you know, as you know, as the temperatures rise, and um, it really affects the Barrier Reef, it causes, uh, causes bleaching. Which is when um, bleaching occurs when um, corals suffer heat stress and they expel microscopic algae that live inside the tissues and they reveal their white skeletons. Uh, so, bleached corals are not dead, but they're more at risk of starvation and disease. And um, already, marine heat waves have triggered these mass coral bleaching events on the Great Barrier Reef just five years. Reducing the shallow water coral reefs by as much as 50%. And humans, we really don't deserve this. We don't deserve nature. It's just sad. Now, coral reefs, they can recover from bleaching over time, but only if temperatures drop and conditions return to normal. So we have to obviously look after our environment and hope that things get better. Let's check the other side. I'm trying to spot dolphins. I'm trying to do everything. Give you good pictures. Spot dolphins. It's not easy. Another threat to the Great Barrier Reef is ocean acidification, which is uh, when the uh, ocean absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and it makes it more acidic. Um, and since the late 18th century, the ocean has absorbed about 30% of the carbon humans have generated, which decreased its pH levels. Um, and um, obviously another threat to the Great Barrier Reef is habitat changes. It's as the water temperatures rise, many marine species are forced to move to cooler habitats because it's getting hotter. And this shift creates increased competition for food and shelter in cooler waters which threatens the entire ecosystem of the reef. There is hope. Communities are trying their best to fix this. Millions and millions of dollars a year through tourism goes to rehabilitating. And here we are, a ship. Hey guys, I'm saying hi to them. Uh, yes, Moira, that looks like a naval ship. Absolutely. I think they did, Belinda. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. There is an army base not far from here. So yeah, we're a little overcast today. We've got some more mountains. 
You're absolutely welcome. I uh, no, this isn't a seaplane, Moira. This is a uh, just a small charter. I'm, I'm not quite sure what type of plane it is. I'm not a plane person, but um, I know it's small. Yes, there is commentary on the headphones. But you're getting all the commentary from me. <laughs> And I don't have headphones. I gotta use my memory. And it's a very small, bouncy plane. Yeah, I mean, people aren't taking pictures, but I guess, you know, it's hard to when you're just awestruck by such beauty. Sometimes the best picture, the best experience is committing something to our memory. Yes, Chrissy, um, years of training as an actor and um, a whole year of working as a guide improves your memory over time. And meditation, that helps memory as well. Oh, check out this beautiful island. Oh, wow. That is stunning. And here's a little town. They probably do, but here's the thing, Valerie. There are over 980 islands on the Great Barrier Reef. I do have a good memory, but it's not that good. <laughs> so beautiful. Uh, sorry, Arun. This is uh, this is actually Cairns. It's part of Cairns. All Cairns. Oh, oh! Alex Island. That would be, and here's Cairns from a bird's eye view. How beautiful is Cairns? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't know. I thought it was meant to be a, uh, a longer experience. Oh, whoa. But it looks like we are. But you get a bonus view of Cairns from atop a plane. Look at this mountain. Wow. Tramley Island. Has a nice ring to it. Check this out. Absolutely. A bit of turbulence, Eva. I always get nervous when there's turbulence. But it's okay. I spoke to the pilot. He's a professional. It certainly is, Margaret. Um, I'm not going to do the tourist train to the rainforest yet because I wasn't sure about the signal. Signal can always be a little funny, um, but um, I will, uh, yeah, I will test it out so I know for next time. How beautiful is this? Whoa. Look at this river over here, this little creek river. So beautiful.
This is a once in a lifetime experience. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at all the fields, the rivers. Thanks to all of you for your tips, by the way. Really appreciate it. Let's check the other side. Um, it wasn't too bad. It was like about 200 for the plane ticket. Hey, how beautiful is this? It's a little bumpy right now. And we're about to land. Let's check out the landing. Pilot's about to land. You ready? Oh, hold tight, guys. Hold tight. We're about to land. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, whoa. Ah, oh, sorry, ignore me. <laughs> and and we landed. We survived, guys. So thank you so much to all of you for being here. Um, I really hope you enjoy this, this incredible once in a lifetime chance in which we enjoyed and uh, relished in the beauty of the Great Barrier Reef uh, from an aeroplane. Uh, and um, I had a great time. I enjoyed showing it to you. Thanks to all of you. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're meeting me for the first time, it is an absolute pleasure to meet you. Uh, you can follow my page, my channel. Just click up here on the follow button so you don't miss out. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Thank God I took those motion sickness tablets. Uh, but thanks, guys. I really appreciate your company. I love you guys. And please be sure to book for the cruise. So the cruise will be um, in two days, and it'll be a completely different experience and view of the Great Barrier, great barrier Reef. So um, until then... Um, I really, really appreciate your company, guys. Um, I'll be posting videos that I uh, took with my other camera uh, on um, my private page, Alexander Down Under, so you can join the page um, and we'll accept you, obviously, so you can check them out. Um, thanks, Stefan. Thanks for the link. And um, uh, thanks, Tim. Thanks for the link to the group. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Okay, so again, you can just follow me up here, click on the button. And I will speak to you guys soon. Love you. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Honestly, I appreciate you. Oh, very quickly. I just want to, before you leave, I just want to also thank a very special fan follower for this amazing Raptor shirt that I wore uh, earlier today. Um, thank you so much. Um, it was a Christmas gift. So thank you. You know who you are. I appreciate it. I'll speak to you guys soon. See you guys.